I can never get this thing set up just right. All right, hey, what's up everyone? Aaron here and thanks for coming by today's video. Uh, been running around a little bit today, been a little crazy, but I did this quick little tutorial. It's really short, uh, it's really fairly easy, but it's for doing a picture in picture within Filmora Pro. Now before in the older versions of Filmora, you had a picture in picture track. This, now you can just add multiple layers and just adjust stuff and move it around. You'll see as we jump onto the computer, but uh, it is fairly easy. You can also use it for some other things like I explained in the video uh, when we're on the computer. Like for example, like this wall here, I could bring in a JPEG or a PNG file into the timeline and make it look like it's on the wall. So kind of like a picture in picture, almost like a green green screen effect without having a green screen. So hopefully this helps. Let me know, comment down below. Thanks for watching the video and let's get onto the computer now. All right, now that we're on the computer, I just had to take a little sip. My throat's a little dry today, but uh, this is um, how we're going to do a picture in picture in Filmora. It's really simple. Uh, you can use it for many things. If maybe you have a green screen, uh, for example, or maybe like this picture here, I put uh, a green JPEG over it and then I can put another video on top of it. You can even do something. Um, let me just, now that I'm thinking of it, let me try that here. Let's do this. So we're going to do something a little bit on the fly here. So let's take this GoPro footage from Florida. And I got way too many things going on on my computer right now, so it's going to be a little slow. But first thing you want to do is you got your video tracks, and the more you play with Filmora Pro, the more you're going to get used to it. I really like it. I go back and forth between this and Filmora 9. Filmora 9 is just a little bit more convenient if I really want to do something fast without getting too technical. Um, and you can still make some great videos with it. Uh, I just wish kind of Filmora would have some of the options that are in Filmora 9 and Pro. Or the keyframes that you can do in Filmora Pro, put it in Filmora 9. But anyways, uh, I'm getting sidetracked. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring our first clip over. So there I am. Now, this is going to get funky. As you can see, I don't know why lately, but when I play it, like the screen gets bigger. And then eventually it goes back to the right size. When I export the video, though, it's fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that. Then we're going to bring over, uh, let's say we want to do... A, uh, the clock here, the countdown clock. All you're going to do is grab the corner here where the little dot is, and you see how if I just move it, there's the other picture. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to shrink that down to where I want my timer. Let's say I wanted to do a countdown, and now my timer is going to be in that corner, and it's going to get all funky when it plays. I don't know why it's doing that. I might have to reinstall Filmora Pro. It's just uh, something that's been happening lately. Um, but that's how you do picture in picture. If you're familiar with the original Filmora up to eight, I believe there was uh, a picture in picture track. I think this is how it works for Filmora nine. I haven't done any picture in picture stuff yet. But it's super simple to do. And again, you can do multiple tracks if you wanted to. So the other thing I wanted to try, which I just did a video in uh, Filmora nine for the infinity screen so it's kind of like when you look through one phone then another one opens and another one you keep going and going i'm making hand gestures like you guys can see me right now i, I don't know um but let's say we have this photo right here we should be able to take this track uh i can detach the sound so we're going to go to uh the audio unlink and then delete or remove Ah, nope, I forgot to select just that. So now that's unlinked, you see the little link bars there, they're gone. Just make sure you highlight it. Sometimes I forget to do that, and it deletes the whole thing. So then I want to click on this, and just like the last one, I'm going to move it over so I can see the bottom track, or the track with me in it. And then I'm just going to play with this a little bit here to get, oh, see, that's what I don't like. Sometimes it's really touchy. Um... And bring that down and put it right there, bring it down. See, I don't know why it grabs the other track all the time. 
but it's kind of annoying when it does that. And then just kind of adjust it. So again, you can sit here for a while and play with this, trying to adjust the right size and getting it just so it looks perfect. If you have a green screen, like if you put a green image over this, it'll be better. So when you play it, like you would have that. Now it's a bad example because the the photo is on an angle anyways. But if it wasn't, I don't know why this is acting so crazy like that. But if it wasn't, if it was straight up and down or like a TV screen, you could have like a logo back there or just a solid image. You know, like say you're shooting in like your studio or something or you have like a TV behind you, you want to put up your logo for branding. You could do that just by doing the picture in picture um, through uh, Filmora. So that's how you do it in pro. It's pretty easy. Hopefully that helps uh, answer some of the questions people might have on the picture in picture track and uh, comment down below. Let me know what you'd like to see in the next tutorial video. Uh, as always, I try to bring you some stuff as I start doing it. Um, you know, just, uh, you know, I think it might be helpful. So I just do it for you guys and uh, let me know what you think before I get sidetracked here. I'm going to take off. So thanks for watching the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. All that good stuff. Hit the bell so we know, or I should say so you know when the next video drops. I will talk to you guys later and see ya. That was crazy lame. And uh, let's get on to the